Oh, this is going to be an interesting video. Um, definitely for sure. This is interesting. It's an interesting topic, I'll be honest. So, as of last night, um, I don't know exactly when, but sometime last night, 1-15-2021, um, King's Isle was purchased by a company, MGI, also is Media and Games Invest. Um, I'll probably, a lot of you people that are, like, active in the Wiz community and, like, active online or whatever, you probably heard about this. It's, um, kind of, like, I don't know if it's blown up in the Wiz community, but I heard about it pretty fast, like, right when it happened, someone sent me the link in my Discord, so, yeah. I want to make a video about this because a lot of, I feel like it should be understood more what's going to happen. I'm not saying that people are dumb, people don't understand, but it's kind of, uh, if you look into it, you can kind of tell what's what's going on, okay? So the entire company, right, Media and Games Invest, they, they look at MMOs, basically. That's like their whole branding. I'll put this picture up. I'm, a lot of these pictures are from the Atmoplex, so shout out to him on Twitter. But they have games such as like Trove. That's the only one on this list that I've actually heard of before. I think Fiesta Online I've also heard of, but I have no clue what it is. All these games, though, if you look at them, are MMOs, except for Desert Operations for whatever reason. They're all MMOs, okay? And as we know, Wiz is one too. So this is just another another game to their pile, basically. So doing some more research into this, because I I think marketing's kind of cool, I think business is kind of cool. Um, there is like a very good chance that this is only beneficial. Only beneficial. And when I say very good chance, I mean it literally is going to be beneficial. Like, there's no doubt. I still have Wiz open in the background, so ignore the music. But this is a video from their Twitter, right? And I think this is a bit interesting, okay? So this is a little graph. This is annual review and milestones. Okay, I was actually completely wrong. So this graph is actually backwards because this company is in a different location on the globe, whatever. Um, the dates are backwards. So this is 01 and then 01 2020. This is 04, 01 2020. So this is in April. This is the seventh month. I don't know. This is what, October. And then this is mid-December of last year, 2020. So if we just look at this graph, right? This is literally the entire year for this company. Um, I'll just, I'll pause it halfway real quick. Okay. Um, acquisition of Verve to increase user acquisition capabilities. I don't know what those words mean, but they got a company and that's pretty cool. Okay. And then look, some Gamingo group. That's another group that they have purchased a while ago. Um, shares go up to 99.9 .9. it's a massive massive increase okay and then it dips back down because all companies do and then organic growth more dlcs and trove and all those other mmos which is pretty cool okay i'm gonna let this finish real quick and then look look at this look at this bro it goes up and up and up i'm not gonna lie i don't know much i don't really understand this completely but i know it's good okay Acquisition of Freenet Digital whatever. 1,500 mobile games. That's pretty pog. Some other thing. In increase of your... Uh, pretty pog, I guess. All of these, I really don't know what they mean, but it's good. Because this bar is just going up. And whenever you see a bar going up, you know it's good. There's no way it's not good. Media and Games Invest, the company that bought KI. Um, expect good things. Honestly, expect good things. Um... They've only helped the games that they bought. So yeah, I I don't think there will be massive changes to Wiz. It's very possible. Anything's possible because it's a whole new company. It's not even KI anymore. Um, I just wouldn't plan on the game dying. That's one thing. Do not plan or do not ever think that this game is going to die because of this. This can only help the game. Massive company. Spending 126 million. If you're gonna spend 126 million on a company, you know what you're doing. And you're like, bam, we're gonna make money off this. We have plans. The past KI already knows what the plans are. They're like, go for it, bro. They're like, go for it. Like, send us send us that money. Like, make the, make that profit. Some things that I'm 
kind of hoping for is um a few free worlds in the beginning or a bigger revamp to wizard city to make it longer that's something that i think would very bene benefit the game a lot um i wouldn't expect massive game changing things like there's not going to be like new worlds every like three months or something it's just probably not going to happen and if they're going to update pirate i'm, I'm not even going to answer that because i have no clue okay pirate there's a massive thing going on or going on pretty soon where like fairy queens kind of organize this whole thing where there's like going to be a massive pirate revive and that goes alive a day before mgi actually takes control of wiz so they might be like bam we own wiz now and a whole day ago the amount of people playing pirate 101 just skyrocketed so as i said it before expect good things that's all i can really say don't be sitting here expecting bad things but like things that are already broken in the game i don't think i have anything on this account right now but like minus 90s, I, those are not going to change, probably. Very small things in the game are probably not going to change. But bug fixes, to name a few, might, you know? Like that gardening glitch, I wonder if I can actually get it right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, many small glitches might be fixed because there's just more resources. This company has a lot more money. Um, The company I looked into, it has like a about a thousand people that work for it so i don't think there would be new employees for ki but there might also be more room to hire more people i'm not really sure what's going on and i'm not gonna lie if you made it this far this video is like almost entirely bs i don't really know what i'm talking about as you can tell i just think it's an interesting topic so as i said expect good things that's the one thing i know expect good things